We now have a single voice patch. I have a clock going into the x-axis and a separate clock going into the y-axis. The quantized CV is controlling the pitch on the Mother 32 and the output is being gated with the gate X output on the Renee. Since the Y axis is also being clocked, we could also use the gate Y out. So whenever there is a shift in the Y axis, we get a gate out there. I'll just switch back to the gate X for now. Now the quantized CV is in tune, but it's completely chromatic. If I tap program A and tap all the way to the last page, which is the Q page, here we get to set a specific scale to be used. I'll stop the clock and unplug the gate out for now. Let's get out of this page for a second. Now we already know that every step's CV can be changed by changing the value on the dial. It is step right now, as we're using the quantized CV out. If we were to use the unquantized out, it would be completely free running. Back to the quantized CV out, which is stepped, but completely chromatic. Now going back to that Q page, here we can limit notes to specific scales. Each touch plate, except for the top row, represents a note from the chromatic scale starting from C. So I can turn off specific notes. And now the quantized CV output is going to be limited to only the notes I left on. So when I change the values on each dial, we can clearly hear that it's now only using those notes that I chose to leave on. So now let's clock the axes again and plug the gate back in. I clock the y-axis as well. Now we have a sequence following a particular scale. So now we can get much more musical results with this. Let's tap the program A button again and tap to the last page, the Q page. So this is the scale we're using currently, but we can also store it in memory. You can store up to four scale sets in memory. I'll turn off that clock for now. So to save the current scale, I can just hold down on any of the top four touch plates and after a couple of seconds, you will see all the LEDs flash once, indicating that the scale has been stored in that location. I'll turn the clock back on, get out of the Q page. Now if I change up the CVs for each step, nothing changes because we're using the saved preset. This is for the quantized CV out, but the unquantized CV out is still accessible and the dials will work for that. So you could potentially use two CV sets simultaneously. Use one to track pitch and the other to scale filter cutoff or any other parameter that does not have to be quantized. You can do that anyway, but with the scale memory feature, you can have completely different values for both quantized and unquantized CV out. Now, like I said, we have four slots here to save scale presets. I'm using the first one, but I can also turn it off so now we're back to using what's set here. So that's the scale quantize feature built into the Renee. 